So the first big thing is finding a location. Now I'm gonna kind of jump ahead. In food photography, what I've kind of learned and been taught, and you'll hear this a lot, is that lighting is king. Because we wanna make this a DIY course, we're gonna focus on completely natural light. We're not gonna use any artificial flashes or strobes or anything like that. So our location is very dependent on natural light. You don't wanna have really, really harsh shadows because you'll start to see differences in food and it'll look not as natural and appetizing and all that. So a lot of food photography, depending on your style, is done with very soft, diffused light. Imagine the sun coming in really, really hard and it's just really bright and it creates this deep, deep shadow. Diffused light is like basically putting a white bed sheet in front of that sun and, and spreading the light out so it's nice and soft and easier on shadows. That being said, shooting inside is much easier than shooting outside where there's this harsh sun. Now again, what's easier in finding natural light is just finding a really nice window where there's light coming in. We wanna find a window where we're gonna get less hard light throughout the day. Now, that being said, where we are, we're in Southern California in Los Angeles, and we would wanna aim for kind of a north-facing window because that will be a consistent light throughout the day. If we face west, the light's gonna get brighter as the sun starts to set, it might start poking through. If we, face, if we have an east-facing window, we might start to lose light throughout the day as the sun kind of moves over. Depending where you are in the world, this may change, um, and it also may change based on the weather and um, things like that. Today's kind of a cloudy day, um, so a lot of the light coming into Phil's apartment is very diffused, um, so we kind of got lucky with that, but you kind of just wanna be cautious. So I'm here in Phil's kitchen. Kitchen is obviously where you kind of want to start looking for your window, um, mostly because this is where the food's going to be, and you can potentially use the kitchen as a background um, as opposed to creating your own background, which might look nice later. So let's take a look. There's really only one big set of windows right here. Um, they've got blinds in them. Um, the sink is right here, which is kind of a bummer. I think if the sink weren't here, this might be a really nice spot to shoot. These don't open, it looks like, because this is here. I also know that that's east. So if we start shooting this direction, I know that the sun is going to be moving away from us here, so it's gonna get darker as the day goes on. I'd like it to stay as consistent as possible. So there's a big window over there in the dining room area, so let's go check that out. So this window is great. That way's north, so we've got our north-facing window. Um, it's pretty big, having a bigger source is nice. It'll cover a bigger area. The kitchen is back there, which I just came from, so I can shoot from this way and have depth or if I wanted to, I can shoot from this way and create a background. Cloudy outside, we're in Southern California. Often it's not that cloudy, but um, we got some nice diffuse light. If I wanted to diffuse this more, I can hang up a sheet. Um, so this is great. So let's get a table that we can now set in front of here at this height at the bottom of the window, and uh, we can get started with our next lesson. Oh, that's nice. 